Good day, one and all. Welcome back to Julia Among the Stars. Julia is our AI, called Julia, and Rachel Manners is our human astrobiologist who is working with Mobot down on the surface of Xenophon to investigate a crashed craft. Um, our mission is to find survivors, and what we've done so far is we have discovered the uh, solar cells that have been hidden behind the station. We've uncovered them, we've reactivated them, and this has given us power to the station, and we have found ourselves in this room, which we're now going to investigate. So let's have a look, see how our map has now changed. So we are in the pressure chamber. And we would the next room we would head into would be spacesuits. So let's work this room. Let's see what we have here. Screen. Examine the screen. This screen contains information about the station's decontamination module. Mm, okay. Controls? I don't think I need decontamination right now. I will undergo this procedure when I return to the probe. Alright door. Let's see if we can open the door. The door is locked. <laughs> okay, log. Gain station entrance. So do I now have history? Yes, light in the darkness. So I've completed a mission, it ends up in history. Current goals. Still no mission data. All right, we've still got to locate survivors. And now we need to find a way into the station. What else do we have? A handle. Examine the handle. There's nothing extraordinary about those handles. They were used by people who went through decontamination. Yeah, you probably hold on to those and be sprayed or something. Got a leak there. What else do we have? Spray. This device is a combined decontamination liquid sprinkler and ULPA filter equipped air cleaner. Mm -hmm. What? ULPA filters? My grandmother used those in her vacuum cleaner. I thought we'd be better equipped. I wonder how much Yamabushi was paid for these. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, piece of cloth. Observation. This piece of cloth once belonged to someone's uniform. I can see dark stains which resemble dried blood. blood. Obtain sample, please. Ooh. Oh, cool. All right. Where did that go? Did that go in my log? No, okay. Uh, metal plate? This metal plate looks as if it's out of place. Observation. It seems that something has slipped under it. Ooh. Can we look under the plate? Commentary. There is some sort of ID card stuck under the plate. Get Can the you ID get card. it? Ooh. Bingo. Alexander Hinkley. It's our ticket into the station. Aha. Righto. And I saw something else here. Decontamination pool. During the decontamination process, this pool gets filled with a liquid. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, and what's this? Contaminated liquids are drained through this outlet. Waste disposal, right? Oh, uh, what else? That's it. So let's try the door again. Access key lock. Alexander Hinkley. Yes, do that. Hello? Is anybody home? Ooh. Let's have a look at our map. We are now inside the spacesuits room. Anything to interact with? To the pressure chamber, that's back where we came from. We can't go down there. The only place to go is through here. Okay. Oh my god, is he dead? I doubt anything could still be alive down there. But I was hoping that somehow... Remember, the station power was off. This planet is plagued with extremely strong radiation, and all the life support functions such as oxygen were turned off. Yeah, I understand. But still, he doesn't exactly look fresh. Julia, how long has it been since contact disappeared? Would you like me to recalculate the time span in Earth years? Yes! Years. It would have been approximately 60 Earth years. 60? What? You let me sleep for 60 years? 
Your perception of time means very little to me, Rachel. Sixty years? Then nobody could have survived. I need to find out what happened. Why did they choose to stay here with such insane levels of radiation? Has um, anyone played that text-based game called Lifeline? I play it on my mobile. It's um, uh, somewhat similar. You have to make a choice between radiation and uh, freezing to death overnight on the planet. I think I've died about 60 times playing that game so far. Right, let's see. Let's see where we are now. Ah, oh, we're in the main hall. Okay. Oh, there, there was no door from the spacesuit room into the hospital, so... All right, let's see what we've got in here. Data pad. Oh, it's locked. Please enter a password. Well, I don't have that yet. Scott White's data pad. Hiyamabushi. Okay, let's go back. Don't have a code yet. But we're going to find one, aren't we? Observation. For some reason, the crew did not keep the station tidy. This violates protocol 17 forward slash 970. <laughs> Work desk. This work desk once served as a multimedia station. It's broken, though. Oh dear. Keypad? Another, another password? Alright. Computer terminal. Ooh. Yamabushi Station. Please insert your ID card. There he is. Alexander Hinckley. Rank. Command Chief Master Sergeant. Personal ID number? Department Aviation. Messages. Crew message. Remember that we're the last surviving members of this expedition. There's no excuse for mistakes. Any form of rules violation will be strictly punished. In other words, don't screw up or you'll have to deal with me. Attention to all personnel. An emergency meeting will be held tomorrow at 7am. Your presence is mandatory. That was the year 2133. Okay, a uh, message from Pavel Cernahus. Are you online? I've got some big news. What's up? Lark plans to blame it all on Cynthia. What is he thinking? No clue. Aren't you worried he can read our communication? At this point, I don't care. I'm still stuck in the lab. Any progress? No. Nope. Looks like a poison, but it really could be anything. Sorry, I have to go now before we get charged with abusing communications again. Pavel, I'm not sure what will happen. I have some of my notes in my data pad. Oh! My password is Xander756. In case, en in case anything happens to me, try to make use of it somehow. Xander756. Okay, remember that. Lee Zeng. Testing 123. Xenophon says hello. Sorry, I feel funny. I'm going to lie down. Please tell Scott to drop by. He never checks his messages. Okay, so we're getting an idea of the crew. We've got Lee Zeng, Alexander Hinckley, Pavel Cernahus, and Cynthia. Whoever Cynthia is. Right, now, where's this... Xander 756? Xander 756. Okay. Media gallery. Pictures. Cool. <laughs> Log out. Alright, let's go back to the data pad. And it was... Xander 756. Confirm. What? What do you mean? A N D E R 756. Hmm. Scott White's data pad. Gotta find the right data pad. Chair. Apart from the dust, there's nothing significant. Storage box. This is interesting. They just left this box in the middle of the floor. Here's a data pad. Andrew Lark. Golly, the, okay, there's lots of crew. Human body. All right, let's have a look at the body. The body of a human male. Okay, could be one of a number of people. Observation, there is an item in his pocket. Let me recover it. Ah, uh, ah, Andrew Lark, okay. Let's get a sample. New object acquired. Where are my objects then? Log. What happened to the crew? Gather evidence. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mission data. Alexander password. Oh, okay. There we go. So it does. It saves the um, memorable stuff for us. 
Good O. Current goals. Gather evidence. What happened to the crew? Yep. Okay. Station status screen. Commentary. The station status module is malfunctioning. I was unable to obtain any reasonable data. Hmm. Another chair. Observation. The chair fell over and was left there. Analysis. Either there was a fight, or someone tried to exit the room in haste. just yet. There's a door there. And we need another data pad. What's this? To the pressure chamber. Okay. And another door. Okay, so we have Andrew Lark's access key door thing. The door is locked. That door's locked. The reinforced door is closed. Unfortunately, the opening mechanism is broken beyond repair. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am unable to proceed. The door is locked. Oh. Enter the laboratory. Okay, the laboratory is locked, but I believe I can find some important information in there. Well, I think we're going to use Andrew Lark's key pass to go through that door, but we'll do that in the next episode. For now, I bid you a fond farewell and a tally-ho.